Hello, this is Dr. Alex Vernon, and I've got a little training here to help you hopefully use the frequency function in Excel. Now, it's one of my least favorite because there's a lot of places to screw it up, but anyway. Here you go. The first thing you need to do is make a decision about the class size of the class intervals. That's a function of how many data points you have and the type of data you have, usually between 5 and 15 or about the square root of the number of observations you have. Look at the minimum and the maximum. If you want to be below and above it as far as class lines. Here I go from 74 and some change to 123. Uh, if I take that and let's assume that I'm having 10 classes, that yields a uh, class size you know, of 4.95, which is kind of awkward. I'm going to round that up and use something nicer, like 5. So I think I need to start and make sure I get the lowest interval. It would be weird to start at 74.24, so I'm going to start at 70. So 70 plus 5, 75, 80, 85, etc. I need to run that series down until I'm well above the number of observations. Now the maximum. So I took it to 130 just to make sure that I didn't have an open ended class. Now, bins are already created. Now we need to execute the frequency. I'm going to misfire a couple times because I'm going to voice voiceover, but select the range right next to the bins, exactly the same size. I'm typing frequency, but you should actually type should be equal to frequency. That's coming up. There you go. Again, this is voiceover, so equal to frequency. Now I can click on that little circle, and it comes up with the right function. It tells me I need the data array and then the bins array. So I'm going to go get the data that I want to sort into the frequency distribution and select them all. Just the data, not the heading. So I got those. Now I'm going to put a comma, and now I can get the bins array. Look where the bins array is, and take the bins array. And now, here's the hard part. You have to press and hold the control button and the shift button. And as you're holding control and shift, then you hit enter. So hold the control, hold the shift, press enter, and then you get them. Uh, I hope this was helpful. It might take a couple of times to get it to fire up right because uh, you have to hold your tongue just right. So. Have an excellent day, and hopefully this made work just a little.